I decided to write the book so uh, hopefully the younger generation and the newer generation of cyclists can understand how screwed up our sport was back then, but through the book see how much it changed um, and how hopefully they'll never have to worry about that X factor again. I spent the last 30 years of my life uh, riding and racing bicycles. It was difficult to write the book. Um, I spoke about a lot of things that uh, were hard to touch upon. Um, for me, the most important thing was the change that cycling went through, and I got to see that change firsthand. I want to be clear that I don't blame anybody for the decisions and choices that I made. Um, seeing the, the EPO on Frankie's Bridge was very impactful in my career and influential. I don't even think Frankie knows uh, how, how influential that was in my career. Um, but I would have stumbled upon it sooner or later, whether it was in, through another teammate or another rider in the peloton. It was so rampant back then that it, w it would have happened uh, eventually. I was not strong enough back then to walk away from the sport that I loved. I moved to Europe to fulfill a dream of becoming a professional cyclist, and at the time I thought I had no other choice. Well, it was a very emotional time for me. Um, and as it happens during emotional times, it's hard to make decisions. Um, at the end of the day, I chose the right decision, which was to be honest about my past and, and also be honest about, at the time, what I was doing presently uh, for the sport. Um, so it wouldn't, and it wouldn't have done anybody any good to, to lie about the past or to not confront the past at that point. I know that my testimony was uh, was going to be very powerful against Lance, and it was tough. He was a, he was a friend of mine. Uh, we spent uh, a lifetime together, so it was a difficult decision. My legacy is not for me to decide, it's for the fans to decide. Um, hopefully they'll see what I did in the latter part of my career and uh, what I'm doing now with my development team. We have one of the top de development teams in the country if not the world, and I'm really proud of these guys, and I know that they're not going out there and even thinking about the X Factor. They're thinking about riding their bikes hard, having fun, and trying to win races, and I'm glad and proud to be part of that.